Today is the 31st January 2021. It's been a wonderful month, right? Okay. I want to especially welcome you back to school after the long Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and today is Sunday. I believe you've had enough rest, right? Okay, now it's time to begin our class with the spelling week 15. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to spell and pronounce the spelling words correctly. Then use the spelling words in sentences. It means you are going to learn how to construct sentences, how to build up your own sentence, okay? The spelling words. Now we are going to identify the following pictures. When you look at this picture, by now, you should have known what the picture is all about. But then, it's better we we'll listen to this or we read this up. So we'll be able to get a better understanding of what this picture represents. It is a small piece of shaped metal with incision cut to fit the words of a particular lock, which is inserted into a lock and turned to open or close it. So when you put the key in this hole, you turn it either to open or to close it. So this is what, the right word for it is what, key. Okay. Now take a look at this picture. You should be familiar with this picture, right? Okay. So we'll read. It is a small or medium sized primate that typically has a long tail. Most kinds of which live in trees in tropical countries. So what is the name? Monkey. <laughs> you know this is a monkey, right? So this is how we spell the word monkey. Look at that picture. Can you make anything out of it? If you can't, then let's read to identify what it is. It is a low area of land between hills or mountains, typically with a river or stream flowing through it. So what would that be? It is called valley. It is called valley. You see the river flowing through it. When it rains, water from the mountain falls down and it runs through the valley. Another picture here says, it is a large, mainly domesticated game bird native to North America. Okay? You call it game bird. So what is the name? Turkey. If it has the beautiful feathers that when it opens its bed feathers, you see the beauty of it. Okay? So you like you play it, you play a game with it like talky talky. Let me see your beautiful feathers and it now goes like <laughs> okay. Look at that picture. It is an art of traveling from one place to another. This is called journey. When you are going from one place to another, or you are leaving Qatar to Egypt, you are leaving Qatar to Jordan, you are leaving Qatar to any other place you want to go to. You want to go to, we call it, you are going on a journey. It is a domesticated hoofed mammal of the horse family with a long ears. It looks like a horse, right? It belongs to the horse family. So what's the name? It is called donkey. So this is donkey. For those of us that have not really seen the picture of donkey, yeah, it is. But before then, you say it is a vertical channel or pipe which conducts smoke and combustion gases up from a fire or furnace and typically through the roof of a building, through this roof. So the smoke gushes out. This is what? This is chimney. Here we say it is 
a sweet, sticky, yellowish, brown fluid made by bees and other insects from nectar collected from flowers. So we call it what? What could that be? Your guess should be as right as mine. Honey. So this is honey. So we we'll move forward. It is a current medium of exchange in the form of coins and banknotes. Coins and banknotes collectively more. So what would that be? Money. So we we'll call this money. Okay? So we'll move forward to the next. It is a knitted garment with long sleeves, worn over the upper body. Worn over the upper body. We'll call it what? Jesse. This is commonly found with footballers. Those that are into sports, they have what they call Jesse for easy identification. Now let's look at the study words for today. We are going to read this now or listen to it. Money, turkey, journey, donkey, chimney, honey, money, jersey. Okay. You've seen that you've heard the pronunciations of those words. We are going to look at it now and then fill in the blanks with the correct one. As they say here, Complete the following sentences. Choose from the words below. So we have here he, Johnny, monkey, chimney, honey. So we say, I can't open the door because I lost my key. I lost my key. I saw the smoke coming out of the black. So coming out of what? Chimney. Chimney, okay. I bought a fresh blank in the supermarket. A fresh what did you buy in the supermarket? You brought a fresh honey. In the supermarket. Now, the dash from Qatar to Philippines takes nine hours. What could that be? Journey. So when you journey from one place to another, okay? So the last one, the funny dash is swimming on the tree. The funny what? Monkey. The funny monkey is swimming on the tree. So this is what you are expected to do in your spelling booklet. And if you don't have a spelling booklet, Please write this in your English notebook. So we'll move forward to the next. This is about alphabetical order. You want to order these words alphabetically. So we have valley, turkey, money, donkey, jesse. Now if you look at these words, you will notice they all ended with why, 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 why. Or rather still, they all ended with e y e y e y e y e y. So we want you to look at them very well and then arrange them alphabetically. I did the previous slide for you. I want you to do this very slide for me. Okay? All right. This is the homework. Here, read and rewrite the following words correctly. We are going to read these words and then rewrite them in the column that is provided, okay? Why are you going to do this? So that you will practice the words, know it for yourself, and learn how to spell them, all right? I want you to get familiar with the spelling words, know how to write them, know how to pronounce them, and then build up your own sentences with it. I will see you tomorrow in our next class. Bye.